This is uh, empirical generalization that both retailers and manufacturers uh, believe to be present is this concept of double jeopardy, that smaller brands, because they're smaller, they get uh, hurt twice. They don't get, uh, um, they get small penetration rates and they get smaller uh, repurchase uh, rates. What explains this triple jeopardy? Are there specific characteristics of the category, of the brand, of the consumers that may explain uh, this concept of triple jeopardy, which is these additional deviations even after you control for the double jeopardy. The data set, uh, it's IRI data set, so this is, for the, this is the scanner data that when we, we go to the store, when the, all of the uh, our shopping cart is being scanned, so a price shows up and then we pay at the end, all that data is, is being stored and accumulated by this company called IRI. Uh, and IRI uh, is, was kind enough to let us have three years of this data. Uh, and this is annual data, uh, so representative of all of the retail outlets uh, in the United States. Um, so the data is, um, is down to the week, that's how they uh, collect the data. Uh, but it was aggregated because otherwise it would be just impossible to analyze it. This is a very large data set. Obviously, there's no such thing as a perfect data set when you get it secondarily because you didn't collect it, IRI gave it to us. Uh, so we, there's obviously, there's always something wrong with the data. Uh, there's missings, there's misalignments, there's things that are coded incorrectly. There's just a simple process of understanding what the data set is all about. So we went through that process that took quite a bit of time, two, three months. Uh, and, and, and after that, then we, once you understand where the problems are, what the issues are, you need to start cleaning the data. Uh, One million data points, you have, there's a trade-off. Do you want to see what's going on versus you want to do it efficiently? Uh, so what we did, we, create, we, we got a subset of the data, uh, around 20, 25,000 data points that is manageable uh, inside Excel. There's a distribution called a Dirichlet distribution uh, that does fit the data, basically fits the, what's, what's called share of category requirement, which is the way that pretty much retailers and manufacturers measure market share at, uh, at the category level. Uh, and, and so this Dirichlet distribution does a very good job empirically at matching the data if the data does exhibit this double jeopardy uh, pattern. And so that's, broadly speaking, what the, uh, how we approached it. And then we just use a statistical package uh, that allows us to fit, basically, the Dirichlet distribution to all these different sub-brand, brand category departments.